always in political campaigns, there's this emphasis on new, right? New can be exciting, really can. New can be exciting, it can be attractive. New can be wonderful, it's shiny, it's perfect. It's untouched. New is untarnished, but new is untested. New is not necessarily reliable. New seems fabulous until the moment comes when you need experience. Experience in taming the bureaucracy, experience in facing down one's adversaries, experience in staring down unfair attacks from the media, experience in formulating policies that will actually work, that can serve people. This president was new in 2008. Boy, was he ever. He was new. And let's look at what that legacy of newness and inexperience has brought us. Record number of people out of the workforce, record number of people on disability, Obamacare, more than doubling in the national debt, increased, not decreased, racial tensions in our country, and a foreign policy that at best has been inconsistent and ineffective. Just think of some of the things the President has told us just in the past few years. He claimed our borders were more secure than they've ever been. He claimed that after Gaddafi and Mubarak were gone, that the Middle East would be a safer place. He said that Al-Qaeda was on the run. He said that ISIS was the JV. And just hours before the attacks in Paris, he told George Stephanopoulos that his strategy was succeeding and that ISIS was contained. Now, all of these statements, every one of them, has turned out to be wrong. This is the problem. Newness and inexperience allows you to see the world as you want to see it, as a fantasy, not the way the world really is. We can't afford to have another person behind the desk in the Oval Office who sees America as he sees it. We can't afford to elect another president without the requisite experience and values that our founders enshrined in the Declaration and in the Constitution.